question is, when staring at your big goal and it seems like a massive elephant that you can't conquer, what will you do? Well, that's the question. And this podcast, Eat Your Elephant, is here to help you to find the answer that will keep you moving forward and making progress. Because you can eat your elephant one bite at a time. I'm your host, Nick Macy, and let's dive right in. Well, hello there. Glad you're here. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, if you're listening to this on the day that it comes out, it just so happens that the podcast comes out on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and Thursday is Thanksgiving. So uh, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you're enjoying the day or sp- just spending time with the family, doing things that you want to do, and you're not listening to this on Thanksgiving. Either way, glad you're here. Today we're talking about being grateful now if you want to be better tomorrow. See, what can be a challenge sometimes is that when we're working really hard to a better future, you know, trying to achieve the goals that you want to achieve, you know, and conquer these things in your life that you've set out to, to conquer. Well, sometimes it can be easy to just see this future as in the future is going to be what you want it to be and to kind of discredit, you know, how good things really can be in the present. It's a balance sometimes, looking forward to the future, striving to be better, striving to improve, and still being grateful for where we're at right now for the blessings that we have. See, the mindset and attitude, you know, they might seem like little things sometimes when compared to your really big goals. Well, it's just how I think or how I feel. You know, that's not as important as me doing the things that I want to do and and becoming the person I want to become. I get that. But mindset and attitude... Although they might seem not as important sometimes as the things that you do, they are very important. See, why even worry about something small like attitude? You know, if you're out there, you're taking actions, you're making things happen, attitude can't be that important, right? Well, no. The attitude and mindset, they're both huge. See, the right attitude, it actually can make taking the actions easier. Now, you still got to do the work. Uh, you know, so having a perfect attitude or, or whatnot uh, isn't going to just magically make the work go away, um, but w- it'll make taking the actions easier. And I don't know about you, but sometimes, you know, achieving these big goals, you know, it can be tough. Like It can be hard work. So make it a little easier on yourself by trying to have the right attitude that'll help keep you moving forward. You know, one way is, is just to be grateful for the things that are going right, the things, the blessings you do have. You know, and that can give you a little bit of the extra energy and mental boost to keep pushing forward when times are tough. See, and having a good attitude and that kind of can do mindset, see, that can also make the actions more enjoyable. Not only easier, but you you might end up enjoying what you're doing a little bit more. And a little bit of enjoyment, a little bit of fun, that goes a long way, especially when the journey to achieving your goal is a long one. You know, when it's going to take you some time, having a little bit of enjoyment along the way, it helps helps reduce some of that burnout. And burning out is not the way to achieve your goal, not for your health, your mental health, your physical health, or for the likelihood of you achieving that goal. So try to enjoy the journey a little bit and having a good attitude can make that happen too. Now, a positive attitude, it can also help to develop a, a very helpful habit, and that is when stuff happens, you know, when things don't go right, as they often do, you know, unexpected things happen, they pop up out of nowhere, and it throws you for a loop. Well, when stuff goes wrong or not exactly according to plan, sometimes it can be easy to jump into a negative, uh, jump into a negative mindset, or we start seeing the problems and how things aren't going our way, and that is just very, it's not helpful. It's just not helpful at all. And having a positive attitude, one that says, hey, okay, it's not so bad. I can make this adjustment. I can keep going for- going forward. Seeing the positive sides of things. I'm not saying throw your head in the st- sand and just be happy-go-lucky, ignoring everything negative. No. But when you focus on the positive, when you focus on the solutions, and you have that positive attitude, it, it helps you to see those positives. It can be easy to get into a, a, a habit of seeing what went wrong. But a positive attitude, it can help you to develop the habit of seeing the solutions so that that way you can keep moving forward. Now, a right attitude, it's also going to make it easier for people to be around you. 
Um, Because let's face it, nobody wants to be around someone that's negative, grumpy, down and out. That just makes everybody more negative. It's, It's difficult to be around. It's not fun. It's not enjoyable. It's just not very helpful. And yes, achieving your goal is up to you. While at the same time, it's probably going to be helpful to to have people around you that can help you a little bit. So make it easier on the people around you by having a positive attitude. You might get a little bit of help too, and you'll just be more enjoyable to be around. And the last thing I got is that having a right attitude, you know, in that uh, that positive attitude, having a good mindset that you can achieve, you, you can achieve, you can improve, you can overcome. See, these mental things, they end up removing roadblocks. They can remove your own roadblocks uh, because if you see a barrier uh, in your mind, it's going to be more difficult to overcome than a physical barrier. What we think is impossible in our head ends up being impossible because we, we just don't overcome it. We won't address it because it's impossible. So having that right mental state, it can actually remove those roadblocks that you put in front of yourself. As well as sometimes they can remove other people's roadblocks. Like I said, being positive is is easier for people to be around you. So that might help remove some roadblocks. Um, And then other things that just aren't falling in line, having that mental attitude, uh, a positive attitude and that that right can do mindset. It's going to help you to be persistent. It's going to help you to take these actions uh, it's it's going to help you to really develop some positive habits and all those things end up removing roadblocks and challenges that, that you wouldn't be able to overcome otherwise. And Thanksgiving is just a wonderful time of year. Well, for a lot of reasons, you know, one is honestly, I like to eat. It's got a lot. I know we tend to have a lot of good food uh, for Thanksgiving, but that just always reminds me of all the things I do have to be grateful for and to appreciate. You know, one of them is food. There's a lot of people in the world uh, that don't have just an abundance of food that we get to pick what we get, get to eat on a very basic level. That's a wonderful thing to be thankful for. And, and thinking like that tends to help put me in, in a good mindset. It helps me be grateful for what I do have. You know, it helps to energize me, to remind me that I can achieve even more and, and the great things because I'm going to use all the resources and blessings I already have to, to strive to make the most of them, to, to improve where I can. I really want to encourage you during this Thanksgiving and, and the rest of the holidays too, to to use that, use that positive attitude, that mindset, being grateful, everything. Use all these blessings that you have to the fullest capability and take full advantage of them because this is your life. As wonderful as it might be right now, uh, you always can strive to do better, and I want you, I want that for you. That's what I want for me. I want to conquer my goals one bite at a time. I want you to conquer your goals one bite at a time. Just go out there and make it happen. Appreciate what you do have while doing your best to make it even better. Thanks for listening to Eat Your Elephant. Hope you have a wonderful uh, day, holiday, uh, holiday season. Happy Thanksgiving. Take care, and I'll talk to you again soon.